Well, as you might imagine, the name the tactical rabbi alone is getting a lot of attention. Rabbi Cohn says he's in favor of people being armed if they're properly trained, not only in shooting, but also in first aid. That is training that he does provide. Now, Cohen is based out of Los Angeles, but he's been making the rounds in Southern California. We caught up with him while he was here in San Diego. Firing off rounds in a promotional video. It's more important to know when not to shoot than how to shoot. Raziel Cohen is a defense expert, but that's just one of his titles. He's also a man of God, an ordained rabbi. Dual roles that he's bringing together with a unique approach to teaching self-defense during a mass attack, earning the title the tactical rabbi. Although we want to focus on the positive, and it's important to focus on the positive, um, we do need to prepare to at least our, ba our best levels to be able to deal with these situations. Cohen is certified by the NRA and is the founder of the National Defense Firearms Training Academy, providing weapons and defense training to military and law enforcement. And since last month's deadly shooting at the Chabad of Poway, he's been hosting events at places of worship. I've always been involved in that kind of lifestyle of giving back to the community. Um, so I took just a slightly different approach in the aspect of protection. The rabbi has created several steps to help mentally and physically prepare for the possibility of an active shooter. During his seminars, he'll often display and dismantle an AR-15. And I'm a reality-based trainer, which means I'm going to bring things that might be being used in order for uh, houses of worship to understand what they're going up against. While some would call the methods controversial, Rabbi Cohen says there's nothing controversial when it comes to preserving peace and safety. Lives. If that human life is priceless, we should start putting at least some money into our own personal protection to protect our communities because we don't want this to happen. And Cohen says the first thing any business or place of worship needs to do is get a safety audit for their building. He provides that service as well. Now, of course, his training does come with a price tag, but he said if it's too steep, he's willing to make it work to ensure everyone is safe.